Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to restrict which users can log on into a Windows 11 device with Microsoft Intune. Let's understand the lab setup which we are going to use in this video. This is a Windows 11 device configured with single app kiosk mode. We have configured Kiosk profile to use Azure AD user account test user 1 to sign in to this kiosk device. Let me show you that. Let's sign in to this Windows 11 device. As you can see, Microsoft Edge opened with Google.com website. User is not able to access any other application on the system. So the kiosk profile is working perfectly as expected. But other users can still log on to this device by using Ctrl Alt Delete key combination. Let me show you that as well. Let's click on Input Keyboard and from here let's insert Ctrl Alt Delete key combination. We will reach on Login screen. At Login screen, we can click on Other User. Let's type the username user2 at msfsurathv3.onmicrosoft.com and let's type this user's password to sign in to this Windows 11 device. As we can see, user2 can log on to this Windows 11 device. So we needed to prevent other user to log on to this Windows 11 device using their Azure AD credentials. Let's go to Microsoft Intune portal. You have to sign in to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, Click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile. Under Platform, select Windows 10 and later. Select Profile Type as Settings Catalog. Now we need to click on Create. On the Create Profile window, specify a descriptive name for the new profile. We have given name taste Windows 11 Logon Restriction. Optionally, enter the description for this policy. After entering the description, click on Next to continue. On the Configuration Settings page, select Add Settings. On Settings Speaker window, scroll down and select Users Rights. Let me click on User Rights. From the list of settings, we need to select a setting name Allow Local Logon. Let me select the checkbox. Now we need to close the settings speaker window. At top, we can see a message Configure one or more settings for a valid policy. Now we need to specify who is allowed to log in locally on Windows device. In this example, we want that only members of local administrators group and Azure AD user account test user 1 are allowed to log in into Windows 11 device. So here we need to specify two entries for that. The first entry will allow local logon to member of administrators group and second entry is to allow local logon to Azure AD user account name user1. You can add multiple entries as per your requirement. In this example, we have added two entries. Now let's click on next. On scope tags, we can include or add a scope tags. This is optional. We'll go with default scope tag which is already selected. Click on next. We will be on Assignments page. Under Included Groups, click on Add Groups and then from the list, 
choose the groups to target. We have created one test device group named test win11 client. From the list, select a group test win11 client. Click on select. We have one device in our test device group, which is our Windows 11 device. Click next to continue. On the Review plus Create page, review the settings which we have configured for this profile. When ready, click on Create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message, Policy created successfully. We need to click on Refresh to see the updated profile list. Ok, this is the profile which we have created. Our targeted groups will receive this profile settings when the device is next time check in with the Intune service. So the configuration part is done. Now let's test the result on our client computer. Let's go to our Windows 11 device. First, we will perform manual sync with Intune to speed up the process. Let's right click on start button and select settings. Click on Accounts, click on Access Work or School, click on Info and let's click on Sync to initiate the manual synchronization with Intune. This Windows 11 device is a member of our Taste Device Group TasteWin11 client for which we have configured the profile. Ok, last sync was completed successfully. To see the results quickly, I am going to restart this Windows 11 device. Let's restart it. After restart, let's try to sign in to this Windows 11 device using the Taste User 2's credential. Let's enter user's pin to sign in. We can see the message. Your credentials could not be verified. Then we click on OK. And let's try to sign in using the password. Let's press Enter key. And as expected, Taste User 2 is not able to log in to this Windows 11 device. We are getting message that the sign in method you are trying to use is not allowed on this device. This is due to the allow logon locally policy which we have configured in Intune. Restricting the login may be required for a special use cases like this. In such cases, you can use this guide to restrict the login to dedicated users with Intune. We also want to test whether a user 1 can sign into this Windows 11 device or not. So let me click on other user. And let's enter our user one's username, which is user one at msf surat v3 dot on Microsoft dot com. Let's enter our user one's password and press enter key. And as we can see, user one is successfully able to log in to this Windows 11 device. So that means our policy is working perfectly fine. So that's all for this video on how to restrict which users can log on into a Windows 11 device with Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.